everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Marcy thank you for clicking on that thumbnail over here we talk about fragrances lifestyle travel and some nursing and I have something very exciting for you today so if you're interested in fragrances which we'll be discussing today please continue to watch and this is the special house please continue to watch comment subscribe turn on those notification bells go over there and follow that page as well you know go to Instagram and follow mystery modern mark as well that's who we're gonna be speaking about today go to mr. cologne 76 and watch the interview with Denmark that owns mystery modern mark and you know look at my videos with the fragrances as well on my page and that's marshmallow m-a-r-c-e-m-e-l-l zero w y'all already know so anyway we're going to talk about these amazing fragrances from the house of mystery Mo Mo mystery modern mark today i'm sorry it's a little windy out here caught me by surprise um and these are beautiful fragrances yes the notes might seem a little spring summery uh you know maybe autumn type fragrances but for me these are fragrances all year long that's how good they smell the performance is amazing you know 10 12 hours you know i'm an oversprayer though but i did not overspray with these fragrances there's no need to and um it's just an all-around amazing house so this is the house over in uh amsterdam the netherlands and uh, I had them shipped to me. Shipping was very timely. You know, everything was just on point and perfect about this house. And it's a smaller house, a newly started fragrance house. I think it's been around for a couple of years. So I really, really appreciate, you know, everything, the performance, the timely shipping, you know, the response, like everything about this fragrance house, you know, and I wish uh, Denmark much success. So yeah, go ahead and follow him. He also has like tester and sample kits that you can order if you're not a blind buyer like me. But you know, I vouch for these two that I got because they're amazing, okay? So anyway, um, let me give you a little bit of um, back knowledge about uh, Mr. Danmark. So Mr. Danmark, um, you know, he grew up uh, smelling fragrances as we all have developed a love for fragrances. And he said, I think it was his dad that had a particular soap and it was uh, called Cleopatra on the soap. It was the face of Nefertiti. And, you know, he loved the smell so much. So he used to, you know, not not having a fragrance himself, he um, rubbed like water and soap on his hands and he used to like rub it on his uniform. I remember doing something like that as a kid as well, you know, and taking my mom's Avon perfume pads and, you know, just rubbing them on my skin throughout the day. I think I was about, you know, maybe 10 years old, nine or 10 years old when I developed a love for fragrances as well. And I think he was around the same age as well. And, um, you know, he just developed a love for fragrances then. And then he said he went on multiple interviews and I think 411 to be exact, you know, looking for a job. And he would go into his interview smelling amazing, you know, thinking that was going to help him get the job, but he was turned down multiple times. So I guess after that last interview that he had, he said he had walked into the bathroom, you know, because he was so disappointed and discouraged. And he stated, you know, you know how you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, your life is like pretty much feel like it's turned upside down. And, you know, he had an awakening and he was like, what do you really want to do? What do you love, you know? And then he looked at himself in the mirror and he said, I love perfume. So he wanted to be a perfumer and he has achieved that goal today, y'all. So this, th that's very inspirational for a lot of us, you know, because some people just work jobs after job after job. And yes, we have to sustain our family, you know, be productive in society. But in this life, in order to be completely fulfilled, you must love what you do. And you know, it's an amazing, it's not even work or it's not even a job when you love what you do. Like I absolutely love being a nurse. I work a lot of hours, even though I may be tired, I'm just so appreciative. And you know, my heart is warm and fulfilled when I walked out of there because I made my patients smile. I made them better. You know, I looked out for a, an entire unit, you know, cause I'm the charge nurse on my unit. So it just, it's a, such a fulfilling, it's, it's, 
really amazing to be in a fulfilling place when you absolutely love what you do, you know? Or if you can't love what you do, then make sure you get a hobby on the side. You know, because a lot of people, they've been in these jobs for 20, 30 years. You know, if you don't love it, get a hobby on the side. That might turn into a love, y'all. So anyway, um, so Denmark decided to go to Grasse and he met, um, which is the perfumer in collaboration with Denmark behind these fragrances. I think her name is Claudine. Um, and yeah, look her up. And um, I think he gives a little bit of uh, some information about Claudine and, um, you know, in collaboration with the perfumes. I don't know if it's all four of them that she's behind, but um, definitely, um, look that up y'all so anyway we're going to be talking about absolute which means absolutely cute and i think it's la car la carretera i say it with a spanish accent and it's not spanish y'all <laughs> so i think it's pronounced la carretera la carretera so if anybody knows i've heard people say it multiple ways but I think it's pronounced La Caratera so anyway um, it looks like La Caratera so um, <laughs> so anyway um, let's get into the notes I also have two samples were sent to me as well but one of the bottles cracked and I'm assuming because the the label is not actually on the bottle it kind of leaked a little bit so it's not on there but by the smell of it I'm assuming it's six, it's sentence 360 so we're gonna be talking about three fragrances today four fragrances and three we're going to actually sniff so the very first one we're gonna get into and it's a bit windy outside but I'm glad the Sun is not out to put a glare on this video so it's gonna be amazing color all the greenery in the background y'all so anyway let's get to it y'all so they come beautifully boxed like this. You know, he also sends over a really nice pamphlet, um, you know, letting you know about the fragrances that he has. And here it is, Mystery Mod and Mark. And like I said, his name is Daniel and some people call him Dan Mark. You know, like I said, uh, one of the fragrances is since Sentence 360 that we'll be discussing today. Y'all, it was just like 90 degrees out here earlier, and now it's windy. The weather is strange, very strange. Um, but I'm loving this weather. It feels good. Um, and there's the beautiful man, Daniel. It says, I'm going to read this to you. It says, if distinctiveness becomes a part of your scent culture, your presence cannot be ignored. When uniqueness is felt, it must be talked about. Yes, y'all know that when we wear fragrances, we are talked about, y'all, especially if they smell good. So, here's another picture, and on here you have Recent Man, and here you have La Catera, and then there's Absecute, and you can go ahead and um, look him up on the site. And like I said, they also sell a discovery kit as well, you know? And, uh, oh, and it gives you the actual notes of all the fragrances. So we're gonna go through this and um, it's get windy y'all. But like I said, we're gonna tilt the camera back up. All right, so the very first one we're gonna get into, it's called Absecute. And he said that means absolutely cute. And it's of the bottles are, oops, the bottles are stunning. I'm gonna put that box away because it's um, the bottles are stunning. You know, it comes with this little tassel on the side. It's Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. Straighten this up. The wind is blowing. So, um, like I said, Mystery Modern Mark Absecute. Now, this one that we're gonna be talking about right now is my favorite one of the entire house. Absolutely love this fragrance. I've worn it for the past, what, almost a couple weeks now, and I wanted to give you all an amazing review on the fragrance. So, in Absecute, let's see, you have, I'll give you the top, the mid, and the base notes. So, you have bergamot in the top note, full of bergamot. In the mid, you have lemon, you have coconut, and in the base, you have tonka bean and vanilla. Pretty simple notes, but the fragrance is just stunning. So this fragrance to me, it's definitely fruity. Um, it's not a gourmand, even though it has all the tropical notes inside, but you definitely get a fresh spicy, a warm spicy. Um, 
it's just an amazing fragrance all around. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the automizer. So, you know, I've worn this, I've smelled this, like I know, this is like my favorite. So you definitely get that bergamot, that burst of lemon. Um, the fragrance to me is pretty linear, slightly, but in the dry down, you do have a lot of coconut. And the opening, you get a, a bit of the lemon, you get the bergamot, but you get the coconut, you get that vanilla scent with the tonka bean and um, on top of the vanilla. But like I said, it's a beautiful fragrance. And um, to me, I absolutely love it because it doesn't, it slightly leans because of the sweetness and the fruitiness, like the coconut and the vanilla and the lemon and bergamot. It slightly leans a little more feminine to me out of all of the fragrances. Most of his fragrances, well, the fragrances are unisex, unisex across the board, uh, but, this fragrance, because of all the fruitiness and the sweetness, it definitely leans a little feminine to me. I absolutely love it. Men can wear this as well. There's nothing wrong with smelling a little fruity and sweet, you know, but I absolutely love this fragrance and it's called Absecute. I, like I said, I've worn this to work. I've taken this to work. I only have to spray this. You know I'm an over sprayer. I only have to spray this fragrance I've, I spray this fragrance no more than four to six times, and it gives me a beast mode performance. Um, a beast mode performance for about four to six hours, and then in the dry down, it's slow. You get more of that tonka bean, the coconut, but you still get the lemon in there as well. Um, and so, 12 hours into my shift, you know, towards the end of my shift, my body was warming up, heating up, running around, and my body just exude this beautiful fragrance of Absecute. I kept getting compliments on this fragrance. You know, more from men. Um, I got more of the compliments towards the end, and in the beginning when I first got to work, I got most of my compliments towards the women, from the women, because they like the sweetness um, and the coconut, and I think the tonka bean of the fragrance. But Dan, I absolutely love this fragrance. If you see this review, Absecute is is definitely like I'm not gonna say it's um if you love these notes, um, tonka bean, coconut, lemon, bergam bergamot, it's a safe line by y'all. So it's a beautiful spring summer fragrance. Um, I will definitely be wearing this in the fall. I'm not sure about the winter. I might wear the other one in the winter because it has a little more of a patchouli base. It's slightly stronger. Uh, but what stands out to me in here is the tropicalness. Um, and the muskiness of this fragrance, y'all, is just beautiful. And this is Absecute. So the next one we're gonna get into is another beautiful fragrance. And this is called La, Cate La Carecera. Uh, La Carecera, or La Carecera. <laughs> so anyway, Absecute came in this, um, excuse me, in this silver, um, Tarn, um, finish and um, this one had a gold finish and I love that about the bottles how he made them different so in um, La, Car La Caracera or La Caretera <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it because I'm so used to saying that La Caretera um, there's bergamot there's black currant um, there's pineapple there's apple oh, these notes are amazing y'all uh, in the mid you have some patchouli some rose some jasmine uh, fir tree oh, I smell Absecute and is stunning, y'all. Stunning. <sighs> Back to La Caretera. Um, in the base, you have your um, gray amber, which is new for me. You have your vanilla mu and musk. So, this fragrance, um, Curly, Mom of Curly Fragrance and Curly Fragrance, they both love the, the um, Dan's Mystery Modern Mark Fragrance, La Caretera, and they love Absolute. So, Curly Fragrance, she actually stated that La Caretera smelled like Creed Aventus, and Creed Aventus for her 
uh, combined and she's completely right. I actually get Balda Freak in here as well, but let me tell you something, the performance on this fragrance is like 10 times better than the both of them, y'all. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my other hand. Love, love, love the patchouli in here. And I was so very surprised when I received them coming from a smaller fragrance house, how amazing these scents were. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and spray this. Like off top, y'all, this is amazing, y'all. I mean, if you love Creed Aventus for her, if you love Creed Aventus, if you love Balda Freak, but this is leaning more towards the Creed's combined, then you definitely need this fragrance. This is amazing. Truth, okay? You get nothing but the truth for me over here. So, like I said, in the opening, I get the patchouli, the, I get apple, green apple, I get bergamot, um, I get black currant, I get the pineapple, y'all, I get the muskiness of the vanilla, um, great, it smells a little ambery, I'm not sure about it, amber, gray amber, whatever, but it's definitely has a really beautiful ambery, like a soft, um, sophisticated amber scent. This, y'all, this is amazing. I cannot decide between the two. Like, I love Absic but I also love this one as well. And um, I don't, it's so windy out here that I don't want my camera to tip over. <laughs> so um, anyway, this, like, I don't get, I get a little bit of the rose in the dry down. Now, Absicute is a slightly more of a linear fragrance, but the dry down is softer and you get more coconut and vanilla um, in the base um, once it dries down. This one, you get a burst of fruity fresh notes in the opening and in the dry down, you get that beautiful amber, you get that rose, you know, you get that musky vanilla. Uh, Y'all, this is stunning. I have Creed Aventus for her. Um, and within the past week, I actually went to go smell Creed Aventus. I like it, but the performance to me, y'all, some people say Creed Aventus for her is beast mode. To me, I overspray my Creed Aventus for her. And I, let me tell you, it is not beast mode. It may last about six hours. This right here will last you about 12 hours and it's absolutely Stunning. A beautiful fragrance, y'all. And this is La Caretera. I cannot speak highly of both of these fragrances. Speak highly enough of both of these fragrances. And they're both just like amazing, y'all. Stunning, stunning, stunning. You need to get your nose on it. I will not lie to you. Y'all, smell these. La Caretera and Absecute. So the next one we're going to smell is one that I have a sample of. And I'm assuming, well, let's talk about... Um, one that I don't have. I think it actually, this is the one that actually leaked and, um, and cracked. Ooh, I'm telling you. No. So, um, there's one called Recent Man, and I actually smelled Recent Man, and it is, it is a bit oody for me. Um, I do love ouds, but I love a soft oud. So, in Recent Man, you have your guayac wood, you have your cypress, um, cypria oil, sorry. You have some incense, you have some oud, you have some saffron, which I absolutely love. You have some raspberry, jasmine, sandalwood, ever, and musk. Now, I did like that fragrance, okay? But the oud in it was a little too strong for me. I do have an oud fragrance that I did actually spray on today. And it has raspberry and saffron in it as well. And um, it's by the House of Mimo and it's called Redba. And, but it's a slightly softer and it's blended very well. Um, that fragrance had a little bit recent man, was uh, very strong in the oud department. But I did smell the raspberry and the saffron, you know, slight leathery, musky, oody. But it is a really pretty fragrance if you love oud, but it was not for me. So let's get into, I smelled this one and I'm assuming that this is Sentence 360 because um, there's a smoky note in here. Now in Sentence 360, you do have your smoke oud, you have your white cedar, you have your nagamatha, patchouli, sandalwood, and you have some amber wood. So um, I'm not gonna hold the camera. So let's let me let's go ahead and smell this. When I get a burst of wind, y'all, I'm gonna hold the camera. Yeah, it was 90 degrees out here earlier today, and now it is windy, probably about 70 degrees. You know, California is going through it with the weather, y'all. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and um, spray this 
like I said, I think this tester that I have, I hope I'm right. Um, and this is Sentence 360. Let's let this wind pass, okay? But it feels amazing, y'all. It's like a warm wind, like a warm spicy, you know, kind of like a perfume. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, let me dab this. I'm getting some fruitiness from here. Dab it, dab it, spray it, put it in the middle of my hand. So, now I think these are the um, actual sizes that you will receive and the, correct me if I'm wrong, but these are the actual sizes that you receive. I think this is about maybe two mLs or 1.1 mL. No, I think it's like about two mLs. Um, that you'll receive in the discovery kit oh it's a little bit on my hand too let's put a little bit more because it smells actually this this one smells really good and this is sentence 360. i smell the raspberry in here i'm wondering if i'm gonna like this one more than i like um my red bar by mimo mimo paris because i do love a, a saffron um a fruity oud you know so, like I said, in here there's smoke oud, white cedar, nargamatha patchouli, sandalwood, and amberwood. I like it. Now I do like it. This is I do get the um, what is in here though. This is actually this is not the one with the. I don't know. Cause I'm getting some raspberry in here. Yeah, I think this one might be recent, man. Yeah, I was getting some fruity notes in here. But I was also getting some smokiness as well. But I'm getting I'm definitely getting the fruitiness and some sandalwood and some saffron. Yeah, I think this one might be recent, man, y'all. Let's put some more. Let me maybe if I get some more of that raspberry then I know it's recent, man. I can't tell, but whatever it is, it smells good. <laughs> and the, the prints actually came off, you know? But I like this one too. I don't love it, I like it. Now I do love, you know, since I can't tell what it is, I'm gonna order a couple more samples and then we're going to figure this out, everybody, okay? So there's another review that's going to be coming. But I like this, but I do get, I'm getting some saffron in here, I'm getting some oud. You know, it's a really pretty fragrance, but we're gonna figure this out. Anyway, that is my amazing review on uh, Absecute and La Catera, La Caratera. And y'all, these are some stunning fragrances. Hear me out. La Caratera, La Caratera is better than Creed Aventus for her and Creed Aventus. And the performance is amazing. And Absecute is just stunning. Ladies, if you love a sweet, floral, uh, fruity fragrance, maybe not, not floral, if you love a sweet, fruity tropical fragrance um it smells a little ambery to me this one as well like a sweet resinous you know very well blended smooth amber then you're gonna love absecute y'all anyway thank you denmark for such amazing fragrances you know everybody go out and get your nose on these fragrances and you know have an amazing day y'all um you know and it's windy out here i'm gonna go uh stay out here a little bit and enjoy the wind and uh, enjoy a little bit of the sun and the wind anyway thank you denmark aka daniel and this is the house of mystery modern marks review y'all bye-bye follow him on instagram okay bye-bye mm -hmm.